Welcome back. A few quick things about that video is on the intro. One, that is the first time I've done a front flip into a pool. Two, I kind of need a haircut. And three, I also kind of need to get a tan. Anyways, back to the main point of this video. This is part two of the first Life Scouts video because this guy thought that he could get all 10 into one, but it turns out it was too long. So here are the second five of those initial 10 that I recorded. Enjoy. During my first year at UCSD, I was on the NCAA rowing team and as kind of a way for the new people to bond, we had like a week long scavenger hunt, which mostly involved us calling the captains of some of the women's sports teams and then doing a competition against an athlete from their team. Whether that was one-on-one -on -one for basketball or blocking a penalty kick or hitting a softball pitch, what have you. For my challenge, I chose fencing because I had never done before and it sounded really cool. And I honestly looked rather ridiculous uh, being that I had the vest and the foil and the helmet, but I was in gym shorts and, you know, tennis shoes, or as the person I was against was in the full, you know, Olympic looking getup. I don't remember which year it was, but also while I was at UCSD, I took a quarter long archery class and I ended up running into a problem. Okay, more than one problem. So I have cross dominance. So while for gross motor stuff, I'm all right handed. So baseball, basketball, that kind of thing. My left eye is actually the dominant one, and for fine motor, I'm mostly left-handed, although I'm slightly ambidextrous. So naturally, if I was left eye, that means I would draw with my left hand so that I could aim with my left eye. However, I am also six foot two with a six foot two arm span, and they did not have a left hand draw bow that was long enough. So then I had to draw with my right hand, which means I was drawing with my awkward hand aiming off the wrong eye with arrows that weren't quite long enough, which means I couldn't go to, f it was complicated. I still had a lot of fun, but it was complicated. So I don't remember when I first got CPR certified, but I've done the certification so many times now. I know I did it in my first responder class in high school, in my EMT class, in my wilderness first responder class, in my wilderness first responder recertification class, in getting hired for some job, and then also I just did it again in my marine basic safety course. Oh, and if you haven't seen the British Heart Association's uh, videos for compression-only CPR, you have to go watch them. They're hilarious. They feature Vinnie Jones and there's one with a kid and they're just really funny. I'll put a link somewhere on here and also in the description to them. But in all seriousness, everyone should get CPR certified. It's not that hard and you never know, you might just save a life. While I was studying in Australia in college, I applied to work with the Conservation Volunteers Australia for a weekend and was accepted. Uh, most of the work that we did involved planting trees. We planted hundreds of trees in a few different places, uh, working towards making a biodiversity corridor between two different state parks. Biodiversity corridors are very important for increasing the biodiversity of an area as large parks often contain more biodiversity than small isolated parks, even if their overall area is the same. More information than you need to know for this video, but there you go. And finally, like most people I know, I don't remember not knowing how to swim, and I'm always surprised when I meet somebody who doesn't know how to swim. I grew up body surfing at the beach, and even for a year when I was younger, I was on a swim team. Yeah, see, that's second place. We can ignore these. These are like fourth and fifth, but second, yeah, 800. Always a distance guy. If you think the idea of Life Scouts is pretty cool, head over to the Life Scouts Tumblr where you can tell your own stories and also learn about the new badges that are coming out. I hope to have more videos posted shortly. I took a quick break from my med school applications to shoot this little intro and outro to try and get a video up. I have others recorded but not edited. I have many more written but not recorded. So I hope that once I get my applications in, I will have more time to make some videos. Anyways, see ya.